Okay. Hey, y'all. This is me. Stop, drop, and roll on. And Pierre. Anyway, I don't know why I always have to re-say your name. I'm looking quite uh, full. Let me address the, I don't like to say elephant in the room. Because I always be thinking about negative comebacks and stuff. And I don't do that um, regarding myself. Self-depreciating type things. As y'all can tell, I got some B12 in my body all week long. Now, whether or not this thing right here did, did you? Well, I got those uh, men's vitamins. Okay. Anywho. Which reminds me, I got to get some. Okay. So, what has happened here is last week, what we were talking about was we were talking about beds because I was telling Pierre we got this bed. How old is this bed? About three years old or four years old? About three or four years old. And um, beds are to me like shoes. You really do need a decent bed. When you're young, you can get away with stuff. When you weigh 2.5 pounds, you can get away with stuff too. And I know that even if I lived in another country, like Korea or something like that, I would be having a hard time. I would have to hire somebody, honestly, to come in there and give me a massage every morning before I went to work. And then they would have to help me get up off that mat off the floor. I know that everybody don't sleep on a mat on the floor, but the large populace does. And uh, that wouldn't work for the kids. And I would have probably had to take some type of Pilates classes or something too to limber myself up so I could spring up, you know, like expectation. Because if somebody break in there or do something underwear, I'm going down. And I know that. So we were talking about beds. And because this bed, you know, I told y'all a little while ago, Happy Feet Thursday. Did you see that sign? wonder what they're doing to people's feet on Thursday. Oh, well, it's, it's been up on. Okay. Anyway. We've had this bed. It, it's a decent bed. You know. And Pierre, you know, I had to talk him down from wanting to buy these beds that raise up and raise down and turn you upside down where you doing inversion in the bed and all of that. That's what this wants. My thing is, is that the more working parts some type of equipment has on it, the more likelihood you are to have problems with that. I did not grow up with beds that was moving around and telling me that I'm snoring and raising my head and then telling me my back got an extra vertebrae in it overnight and stretching me out. I didn't have that growing up. Was that your life? Okay. So I'm thinking if I done made it low these many years without it, I could probably go on into my next 50 some odd years without it. But I do need a good support. So we got a good bed. But for some reason, I still don't have enough support in my back. Some of it, let me just state the obvious, is that I need to lose some more weight. I totally get that. But I've never like had this before and where I'm feeling like oldish, you know? So we've been looking at, I've been looking at beds, and I was telling Pierre last week that beds now, these folks is buying beds and then cutting open the plastic and then the thing just pops out. And then you go in there and just throw it up on a platform and then ta-da, that's a bed. That's not a bed to me. And so when we bought, we bought the bed for the room in the back, and remember that guy asked us, did we want a box print? And we both looking at each other like, do we want a box We in here to buy a mattress and box spring set. The word box spring is in the title. So yeah, we want the box spring. Well, I wasn't thinking about people are now going to platform beds. You know, and this stuff here is right up Pierre's alley because Pierre has a taste that it vacillates back and forth. But he has this, it's a Scandinavian type thing. Like, he could probably go in Ikea or uh, something like that uh, where it's simplistic. It's almost like Danish inspired. His aesthetic, the stuff that he likes. Where it's minimal, well-made, but minimal. 
my thing is I do not want to walk in the room and all I got in there is a, is just this thing. Pierre done went so far, you see that police up there, uh, has gone so far as to uh, tell me I put the bed in the middle of the room at one point. Actually, we did it, didn't we? No, when we first we moved in the house. No, we put it on the, the other wall of the dressing room. We didn't put it in the And I'm sitting up here like, what in the world? And them people ought to be keen to that police because he got somebody there last week. Remember that little brown lady? And she had enough Sunday best uh, having to serve her papers. Well, give her proof of insurance and stuff. So anyway, we um were talking about that and I was telling him about this this bed that dad made for us. And um how this bed was actually Kind of like what Pierre likes, but it was on like the Mon Pal kettle vibe tip. Because Dad made the bed from from it was handmade, and um, it was on it was like a bunk bed. It was a high bed. It was kind of like the beds that they sell now, but this <coughs> was back in the uh, in the seventies, y'all. And you say it was a platform bed? Yeah, it was a platform bed, but it was too because since he was up on top going this way and mine was going this way mm. and so my bed went like that and and it was made out of wood he didn't do all that sanding and finishing and stuff he was trying to put some kids on some sleeping surfaces okay so it was about the business we had enough sense to know you know don't be running in there and doing stuff because you could get a splinter you know but um we just thought that was the coolest bed and that bed was so doggone sturdy it served us the entire time we lived in that house and we couldn't take the bed with us when we left because he built the bed in the room and i <laughs> thought that i thought that my sister had the best spot in the land because she was on top and every time that cow left i would get up there on her part of the bed and just be like Oh, world, 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 world. I mean, I was just like, and I mean, a couple times she called me and I had to pay the price. But for the most part, uh, but under my part of the bed, I had all this graffiti, made place for graffiti. And right, I wrote on, writing, I wrote on writing, the bed. Writing on the other side of the bed. Yes. Didn't nobody know that was under there except for me. Unless you got in my bed, and then one time, Mama did was in there changing the sheets because every Saturday was she changing Saturdays. And do I still do that? Because that's the way it was in our house, and so it is a habit. And so, um, y'all, I was under that bed, and at the time, I'm gonna tell y'all who my man crush was. Rich Roundtree. Let me tell you. That little piece of milk chocolate, let me tell you, here I am a kid. What you know about Richard Roundtree? That's a grown man. And I'm sitting up here with my initials because back then it used to, this was the precursor to the hashtag. You make this thing like a tic-tac-toe thing and you put your initials at the top and the other person's initials at the bottom. So I had my initials up there and then I had RR at the bottom. And in case anybody got it twisted. I wrote in parentheses under there, Richard Roundtree, a.k.a. what was his role? Sure. Thank you. And I was looking at Shaft because my parents was looking at Shaft. But I was looking at Shaft for different reasons. I probably needed to pray about that, don't you think? I mean, I was going to church, but that was probably some stuff that needed to be repented about. Started off in Jet Magazine. Made it I didn't Afro know Sheen. nothing about Jet Magazine and Afro Sheen. All I know <laughs> is on X number date, in the middle of the week, Shaft came on my TV and my homework was done and I was front and center, don't you know? Y'all, that's what me and Pierre was talking about last weekend. How I desecrated the bed and rolled all up underneath there. And I mean, I I was fancy with it. I was fancy with it. And that man, I don't know, I don't know what it was about him. I guess I'm always like brown. See, I, I grew up but here he go with his black, little black light posters, you know. Oh yeah, we had them. And uh, you know, I 
Yeah. Turn the light out and all this stuff. Yeah. That, we call them velvet posters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, I had posters of uh, people, Pam Greer mm -hmm. and Vanetta McGee. Mm -hmm. We going to church, man. <laughs> See, I wasn't sucking in my breath and shaking my head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't I, I look like Pam Green? Just looking no, at I'm the wall and saying, Look at <laughs> And you needed to be praying too. That's probably why your mama was up in the middle of the night playing that piano trying to save you. Because, <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, and that's just funny because you kids and you just, you know, so even at that time with as little stimuli that we had then. We still managed to find our people that we crushed on. This person here is utterly confused. All of this room out here, and you couldn't see that was leading out to the highway, honey. Yeah, Leave it alone. I'm the one brought it up, though, so I guess I'm talking to myself. So, y'all, that's what we was talking about. <coughs> we was talking about beds and, and crushes. And so... We getting ready to go and eat breakfast. Pierre, see, Come look. on, man, what are you doing? Pierre done put the horn on somebody on a Sunday morning. Look at you. Look, this look. person's confused. Y'all get to see the Pierre. I run this camera long enough, y'all gonna see some beautiful bean footage. So, that's all I got to say. We getting ready to go. We getting ready. We gonna go in here and get breakfast. What is my breakfast? Thank you. And what do I drink? Peanut butter. And yep, and I have one little thing of peanut butter. And one cup of coffee. And one cup of coffee. So y'all know. And I, I'm not going out here with bacon hanging out of my mouth and all that kind of stuff. And pancake syrup on my clothes going to church. Hello. I'll talk to y'all later. Toodles. I got a dinosaur arm today. Can you punch that? Bye, y'all.